Hello there, uh, this is Eugene Blanchard and what we're going to do is talk about troubleshooting sewing machines. So basically I got a sewing machine and uh, it didn't want to sew. So what is the problem? Well it's not sewing. In my case uh, I'd turn the machine on and we'd have this lever would go up and down, the needle would go up and down, everything seemed to be mechanically working okay. The bobbin would rotate back and forth and it just wouldn't sew, right? Um, what would happen is you'd put a, your cloth in here and the needle would go up and down and the thread wouldn't turn or thread wouldn't come out, nothing. Uh, another problem could be uh, bending and breaking needles. Uh, your needle could come down and start bending and jam in here or you can have jamming, it would get down and just jam. Right. So the very first thing you always want to check is that you've threaded it properly. So on uh, this is a new sewing machine that was given to us and uh, we didn't have a manual and typically what happens is you have your bobbin or your sorry your spool of thread up in this area and then it comes to a, a little hook this one's actually raised because I got the back cover and then it goes to another one. Mine goes down here this is my tension gauge your tension gauge might be over here but it goes to tension. Uh, there should be a little tiny spring behind here mine comes up and this is the arm that goes up and down and then it comes through a little hook here and another little hook and goes into the needle right and the same thing you want to make sure that your bobbin is uh, threaded properly so uh, consult your manual verify that the bobbin is threaded so what we're going to do is we're going to look at two uh, um, sort of checks to see uh, one is called the hook timing and the needle height right so those are the two that we're going to look at. Uh, this is the sewing machine we have. is a EuroPro X. Uh, it's a model 473, I believe it is. And uh, it has a vertical bobbin. right? So the bobbin is vertical down here. Uh, a lot of the newer ones have a horizontal, so it rotates around this way. Uh, the principles are the same thing. as The hook's going to come and catch the uh, a loop of thread. Right? This one is a more traditional, is vertical, and the other horizontal one. So very first thing is what you're going to do is you're going to uh, uh, take the bobbin out. And, and now you don't have to take the machine apart, like I've taken it apart because I was working on it, but you don't have to take it apart to uh, check it. Uh, all you have to do is take the bobbin out, and once the bobbin is out, we can take a look at the hook and the needle. Right. So what I've done is I've done a, a slide tape type presentation because uh, there's probably... 30 or 40 or 50 videos on talking about the hook timing and the needle height and they're all videos and you can't see the detail. So I've taken a picture here so what we'll have is on the bobbin once the bobbin's removed you'll see that this is the hook and the hook is going to rotate back and forth. right? So it's got a little hook here and it's going to pass right next to the needle. The needle is going to move down and that's going to be the height adjustment. So both of these have to be in sync for the sewing machine to work. So on hook timing, what happens is that this hook is going to rotate back and forth, right? Uh, the needle's going to come down, and then it's going to come up about a sixteenth of an inch, and when it does that, it forms a little hook, uh, loop of thread. And what happens is this hook has to come over and be in time to snag that hook. So it's going to come here, and it's going to rotate all the way over, and then it's going to come back, right? And that way it's going to form the, uh, the, the uh, thread or whatever it is and that so what we want to make sure is that the hook is in the right position if it's in the wrong position uh, it might be too late or it might be um, too far right typically if it's too far you're gonna needles gonna come down and it's gonna hit the metal part and it's gonna get bent so the hook adjustment is in the back side right so wherever your bobbin is on the other side it's gonna have a shaft and on the shaft it's going to have a gear. We can't see the gear here because it's hidden by this plate. At the bottom you can see what looks like a gear. It's actually a, a rack. It's just a, a flat piece of plastic with teeth on it. It moves back and forth and as it moves back and forth it rotates this gear. To uh, adjust it there's two set screws over here. and We'd have to loosen these set screws and they use typically an Allen wrench. Right, so these are Allen wrenches. 
So then what you do <coughs> is you would rotate this, loosen up the, uh, um, the gear, and then rotate this so that it's in the right position. So just as this needle comes down and it goes up about um, a sixteenth of an inch, it's just risen, so that way this comes in. Uh, you might have to play with it for a while, right? There's no, I couldn't find any um, set rule. Everyone says, you know, bring it up about a sixteenth of an inch and then this should just start snagging it. Right? Next one you want to check is the needle height. So needle height is really should be called the needle depth is how far does it go down, right? So what should happen is that it should go down far enough that the eye is just about here as it comes up when it meets here. So that way it goes down, the thread is tight, it goes up a little bit and there's a, a little bit of a loop that f forms in that. So if the needle is too low, what will happen is that it's going to um, it's going to drag on this, there's a, like a V-shaped here, it's going, as it rotates, the needle isn't going to be getting up high enough and it's going to catch on here, probably bend, or if it's too low, it's going to uh, break. So the needle depth adjustment, it's over on here. Um, so the needle has a, a rod that goes up, it comes up on this side, and there's an adjustment, I got a better picture here. Uh, so this is um, sort of just looking over here and what happens is uh, the needle, you, uh, you have your needle holder and then you have this adjustment rod that you can adjust up and down and this is a set screw and that's what you loosen that and that lets the rod go up and down. Again we use a set screw to uh, adjust it. Um, now on mine, this is the problem I had, is the needle eye was too high, right? So when the hook came around here, the eye is way too high. And when it formed the loop, the loop was up here, and this just kind of missed it, right? So nothing was happening. The needle's going up and down, thread's going up and down. Um, it's not catching the hook, so it can form the knot, I guess it is. And it's too high. So what I had to do was loosen this screw here, and I had to pull it down, uh, pull it down just a little bit, right? Now, the question is how far down do you you put it? Well, I didn't know, so I put it down a ways, and then I slowly rotated this with, uh, you know, the handle that's on the edge of your um, sewing machine, and I rotated it, and as this went, as this rotates around this way, this needle goes up, and what happened is it was rubbing right here, so you could hear it was rubbing. So what I had to do was readjust it and just adjust it a little bit higher until it didn't rub anymore and that seemed to fix it. So what I did is I just loosened that up again and just moved it up just a little bit until it w didn't rub there anymore. So once you've done these adjustments um, what you should find is that you should be able to start sewing and I was able to sew some lines um, some nice threads or and, that, and it worked. All right, well, thank you very much for watching.